Hello, my name is Michelle Wynn. Today I will be demonstrating the Ophthalmolic Medication Administration. The supplies that I'll be using, I have tissue, I have my wash rag, I have eye drops, gloves, and I have my patient. To begin the skill, I will verify the doctor orders. I will verify the six rights of medication administration, which are right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. I will open up the EHR to verify the medication order is there, and then I will ver verify the medication against the order. So it looks like the doctor has prescribed Timoal, um, a 0.25% solution, and we are to place one drop in each eye two times a day. So I will gather my supplies and proceed to my patient's room. I will knock before entering. I will close the door or curtain behind me to ensure patient privacy. I will place my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface, and I will um, perform hand hygiene. Hello, my name is Michelle and I'll be your nurse today. Can I please have your first and last name and your date of birth, please? Thank you. So it's important to verify what they're saying with their wristband. And also this is another opportunity for you to verify the medication. We have the right medication and the right patient. We'll need to do this at least three times before administering medication. So this is my second time. Okay. Um, so, Mr. Jones, I will be administering an eye drop for you today. Do you have any known allergies, um, any medicine or food allergies? Okay. What about any seasonal or environmental allergies? Okay. So, the doctor has ordered Timoal, a 0.25% solution. I will be placing one drop in each eye, and this will be done two times a day. So this medication is used to treat glaucoma and other eye conditions that cause high pressure in the eye. Um, the medicine is a beta blocker that works by reducing the fluid in your eye. Any questions? Okay, some of the side effects to this medication is temporary blurred vision, itching or stinging. Um, you may even experience redness in your eyes or dry or watery eyes. Some of the more concerning um, adverse effects, Mr. Jones, is dizziness, eye pain or swelling, um, irregular heartbeat. If you experience any of that, it's important to report that immediately, okay? Okay, and Mr. Jones, um, while putting the eye drops in, some people have complained about um, having a sensitivity to light or stinging once applied. So if you experience any of that, um, let me know. And also, Mr. Jones, if you are taking this medicine at home alone, um, make sure that if you experience any of that, that you wait until it subsides before driving or operating any machinery, okay? Okay, any questions for me? Okay, perfect. So um, I am going to perform hand hygiene and put on my gloves. Okay, Mr. Jones, I need to get you in a comfortable position. Um, for this procedure, you can either be laying down or raised, but I will need for you to um, tilt your head up. Okay, so I'm gonna raise your bed so it's at a good working level. And then I'm gonna lower your bed rail, okay? Okay, so Mr. Jones, what I will be doing first is I will be cleaning um, around your eye. I'm cleaning for um, any drainage or any crust that may be present. So I'm gonna use a, a wet wash rag. And when cleaning, you always wanna clean from the inner to the outer. So I'm going to clean from the inner canthus to the outer. And you want to repeat this, but you want to make sure that you use another, a clean spot on the rag. And you'll do the same motion. Okay. Now, if you are cleaning and you notice any crust, 
You can use a, um, a wet rag and let it soak for a couple of minutes um, to soften up it so that it's easier to clean, but you should avoid rubbing the eyelids. Okay, I am gonna dispose of this and I'm gonna remove these gloves. Okay, I am going to perform hand hygiene and apply a clean set of gloves. Okay, Mr. Jones, how you doing? Okay, so the next step is I will be applying the eye drops. While I'm applying the eye drops, it's important that you, um, that you don't blink and that you don't close your eyes. And I will need for you to look up when I'm applying the eye drops, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna get a, a clean tissue and um, using my non-dominant hand, I will place this underneath his eyelid. Um, I will be using my thumb and index finger to pull downward so that I can expose the conjunctival sac. Get the eye drops, open them up. And when applying, you wanna rest your hand on the patient's forehead and you wanna be one to two centimeters above. Okay, Mr. Jones, make sure that you look up for me, okay? Okay. And again, you wanna be one to two centimeters above and then you place one drop in the eye. Okay. Okay. Now it's important after you do this to uh, apply um, pressure. You're going to apply pressure in the um, nasal lacrimal duct area. This is to prevent any systemic effects from occurring. And you want to do this for 30 to 60 seconds. Okay. And then you will dispose of this and repeat the same steps for the next eye. Okay, and again, you wanna pull down so that you are exposing the conjunctival sac and you wanna go one to two centimeters above and place one drop in, okay? And then again, you want to apply pressure for 30 to 60 seconds. This will help prevent any systemic um, effects, any side effects from occurring. Okay. Mr. Jones, how you doing? Okay. So you are going to clean up any trash that you have left behind. You're going to dispose of it in the proper receptacle. Receptacle. You will remove your gloves, perform hand hygiene. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm going to hand you your call light. I want to make sure that it's close to you. Um, feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. Um, are you in a comfortable position? Okay, perfect. I'm going to raise the bed rail back up. Okay, and I will be back to check on you. I am going to go and document this, okay?